Hello everyone. Today we will talk about matrix effect. Matrix effect itself is a broader term, but we will consider it in the, on the example of LCMS analysis. To understand matrix effect, let's consider the analysis of two solutions. One solution, the standard solution, that only contains our analyte and solvent. And second solution, the sample, that contains in, a, in addition to analyte and solvent also matrix components. If LCMS analysis for such sol solutions is carried out, it is possible that some of the matrix components coalute with our analyte from the LC column and are therefore nebulized in the ionization source together with our analyte and therefore are present in the droplets in the ionization source together with our analyte. In these droplets, matrix compounds may influence the ionization of our analyte. In the literature there are several mechanisms proposed for ionization efficiency change due to matrix components. One of the most common is the competition for the surface charge of these uh, droplets. By competing with our analyte for the surface charge, our matrix components reduce the number of gas phase ions produced from our analyte. And therefore, the number of gas phase ions produced for the standard and for the sample differ, even though the standard and the sample originally contained analyte in the same concentration. Therefore, on the chromatogram, we will observe a peak that is smaller for the sample than for the analyte, even though the concentrations are the same. This means that we obtain significantly underestimated results for the sample and this may be a very serious bias for our analysis.